Japan, a country to be read like an open book. Under the guidance of a paintbrush, the streets become a pictorial show. The Japanese written language transforms daily life into a series of pictures, an imaged vocabulary. Printing, which uses dead signs, might have killed calligraphy, but the machine did not render the hand useless. And through calligraphy, writing has remained a work of art. In every country, children take pleasure in drawing on the ground. The child enjoys this pleasure before any teaching has begun. It dates back to a time when he is still ignorant of school, of art, of history. Before studying, the child gives way to his instinct for violence. Through violence, he learns discipline, self-determination, and a skill which gives its full meaning to the gesture. Each word drawn means that a new victory has been won, that a gesture has become habit, that a sign has turned into knowledge. The child has learned self-control. He can now conquer the thousands of signs that will fill his mind. To write is to draw. A Japanese proverb says, he who can write well can also draw well. All the possibilities of the human being are concentrated at the tip of his brush. After this strict training, the calligrapher strives for freedom. He tries to recall his lost childhood, his innocence, still keeping in mind the traditionary rules he was taught. Every day he practices like a schoolboy, Despite his great knowledge, he is still at heart a student, and thus becomes a master when time and reason grown. In meditation, he follows the inky trace, starting from the visible and goes beyond. The Zen says the heart is invisible. There is no door leading to the great way. Inside the house symbolizing nature, flowers are laid out before one of the artist's masterpieces and their presence teaches humility.
Chico Morita knows that in calligraphy can be found the mystery of nature. She has love and respect for the blank sheet of paper. She touches the paper without blurring it. She naturally obeys the saying, do not write with your hand nor with your arm, write with your heart. Black and white are opposed and balanced. Both are needed for contemplation. Led by her feminine inspiration, the signs flow like running water. They have the primitiveness and the refinement of a 10th century poem. I wish to see the wild cherry trees in the mountains, but the mist is rising from the valley and now is hiding the summit. spot which he called his room in the clouds. Old Nakano is writing to a friend. His calligraphy gives to the banal sentences a deep meaning which betrays his most secret wishes. Painted or engraved, the traditional signs are to be found everywhere. They live with nature. They are part of the stone. They converse with the trees. But today, the young artist feels confined. He has the impression he is living in a painted setting. He is frightened to be left at the mercy of traditions dating to another age. Sogen Uguchi, for instance, belongs to a generation which was uprooted by war. He is split between the wish to maintain traditions and the will to escape from them. He admires these perfect objects which craftsmen have created for centuries past. But for him, there are still fresh fields to be explored with a brush spreading ink on the rice paper.
It took a certain amount of courage to get rid of the training he received and rebel against an order which seemed immutable. He discovered loneliness. He wants to grasp what cannot be grasped, and thus becomes the instrument of his anguish. Shuroi Marita belongs to an avant-garde which refuses tired, habitual forms and relies on the elementary powers of ink. In order to create, he forgets all other examples. And in full chaos, he throws himself onto the blankness of the paper. Belonging to another generation is Gakua Osawa. He suggests a return to the sources of calligraphy. He finds his inspiration in signs long forgotten. And without worrying whether they can be read or not, he appeals Several tendencies can be found in the art of Toko Sinoda, from meditation to creation. The dream has become a picture. The artist gives freedom to his hand. He gives life to the signs, leaving the textbook aside. The signs leave the written page. Beyond the differences in education, the universal language of art is born. Mm -hmm.